Lesson 1. Good Friendships Hey Anna, what do you think makes a friendship strong? Hello John, I believe trust is vital. Without trust, it's hard to open up to someone. Agreed. Also, I think it's important to support each other through tough times. Yes, having someone to lean on can make all the difference. Do you have friends you can rely on? Definitely. I try to be there for them as much as they are for me. It's a two-way street. For sure. I don't often have arguments with my friends. Do you find that too? Yes. Keeping the communication open helps avoid misunderstandings. Right. Plus, being honest about feelings can prevent conflicts. Absolutely. And sometimes, a little humor can lighten the mood and resolve tension. Lesson 2. Reflecting on History Morning Anna, have you ever thought about how history shapes our present? Hey John, yes. It's fascinating to look back at events and see their impact today. Exactly. For instance, Japan's history is rich but also perplexing in some ways. What do you think? I find it intriguing. The changes over the last 50 years have been significant. Yes. The rapid modernization alongside traditional values creates an interesting dynamic. It really does. Sometimes it feels like a struggle between maintaining culture and embracing change. Right. It's essential to find balance. What do you think is the most important lesson from history? I think learning from mistakes is crucial. It helps prevent repeating them. Absolutely. Understanding our past can guide us toward a better future. Lesson 3. Culinary Adventures Hello Anna, I saw you trying out a new cafe. How was it? Hey John, it was delightful. I ordered a unique dish I've never had before. That sounds exciting. I love trying new places. It always feels like an adventure. Yes, exploring different cuisines can be so much fun. What's your favorite type of food? I'm a big fan of Italian food. The flavors are rich and comforting. Italian is delicious. I enjoy Thai food for its balance of sweet and spicy. Absolutely. Each cuisine has its charm. Do you prefer dining out or cooking at home? It depends. Dining out is great for trying new things, but cooking can be therapeutic. I feel the same. There's something special about preparing a meal with fresh ingredients. Lesson 4. Green Thumb Hey Anna, I noticed you have a lot of plants. What do you love about them? Hello John, I adore succulents. They're so low maintenance and beautiful. That's true. I find them fascinating too. They come in so many shapes and colors. Exactly. 
Plus, they don't require much water, which makes them easy to care for. Do you have a favorite type of succulent? I love the Echeveria. Its rosette shape is stunning. What about you? I think the jade plant is my favorite. It's said to bring good luck. That's a fun belief. Caring for plants can also be very rewarding. Definitely. It's like nurturing a little piece of nature in our homes. Lesson 5. Finding what we need. Hey Anna, have you been looking for that book you mentioned? Hello John, yes. I understand it might be easier to find a physical store selling it. That could be a good idea. Sometimes browsing in person feels more satisfying. Exactly. Online searching can be frustrating, especially when nothing seems to come up. Have you checked local bookstores? They often have hidden gems. I haven't yet. I usually forget about them. Do you have a favorite bookstore? Yes, there's one nearby with a cozy reading corner. It's a perfect spot to spend an afternoon. That sounds lovely. I enjoy places where you can just relax and read. Right? Plus, you can often find recommendations from staff. It's like having personal guides. I like that. It makes the experience more personal. Have you ever found a great book that way? Yes. I once discovered a fantastic mystery novel that way. It was a page turner. Lesson 6 Future Aspirations Morning, Anna. What do you want to be when you grow up? Hey, John, there are so many choices. I could see myself being a principal like my father. That's a great choice. It must be inspiring to follow in his footsteps. Yes. I admire how he influences students' lives. Do you have a dream job? I've always wanted to be a writer. Crafting stories seems so rewarding. That's amazing. Writing can transport people to different worlds. Exactly. Plus, it allows for creativity and self-expression. What subjects do you enjoy most? I love English and history. They both tell such interesting stories. They do. Understanding history can give great context for writing, don't you think? Lesson 7. Coffee Breaks Hello Anna, I noticed many people enjoy coffee breaks at work. What do you think? Hey John, yes. It's a nice way for employees to unwind and socialize. I agree. Some people go there for a snack, while others prefer reading the newspaper. Exactly. It's great to see how a simple break can boost morale. Do you have a favorite coffee shop? There's a cozy place downtown that serves the best pastries. It's hard to resist. That sounds delicious. 
I love trying different pastries while sipping coffee. Have you ever tried baking your own? It can be a fun activity. I have. Baking can be quite relaxing, but it's messier than I expected. True. But the aroma of fresh baked goods makes it worthwhile. Lesson 8. Sports Sponsorships Hey Anna, have you noticed how many companies sponsor sports events? Hello John, yes. It's fascinating how brands become synonymous with world-class sports. Exactly. Sponsorships not only promote brands but also support athletes. I think it helps athletes focus on their performance without financial worries. Right. It can make a huge difference for emerging talents. Do you follow any sports? Yes, I love basketball. The energy during games is incredible. Same here. The excitement is contagious, especially during playoffs. Definitely. Plus, seeing athletes perform at their best is always inspiring. It really is. It motivates many people to pursue their own fitness goals. Lesson 9, Lost and Found Morning Anna, have you lost something important recently? Hey John, yes. I still can't find my favorite bracelet. That's frustrating. I can imagine. Did you report it anywhere? Sometimes that helps. I haven't yet. I thought about checking lost and found at the cafe I visited. That's a smart move. Many people turn in lost items there. Exactly. I hope someone found it and turned it in. Fingers crossed. It's always worth checking before giving up hope. True. Have you ever lost something valuable? Yes, I once misplaced my wallet, but luckily it was returned. It was such a relief. Lesson 10, Local Flavors Hey Anna, by the way, do you have any favorite local restaurants around here? Hello John, absolutely. There's a little Italian place that makes the best pasta. That sounds delicious. I love Italian food. What's your favorite dish there? I can't resist their seafood linguine. It's so flavorful and fresh. What about you? I'm a fan of risotto. If it's made well, it can be heavenly. Definitely. Do you think it's better to eat out or try cooking at home? Each has its charm. Eating out is fun, but cooking can be a creative outlet. I agree. Plus, cooking at home can be healthier and more economical. Exactly. Do you ever try to recreate dishes from your favorite restaurants? I do. Sometimes I succeed, but other times it doesn't taste quite the same. That's part of the fun, though. Experimenting in the kitchen can lead to surprises. 
Lesson 11, Protecting What Matters. Hey Anna, have you ever thought about what you would do to protect your loved ones? Hello John, that's a deep question. I think it's important to have plans in place. What about you? Absolutely. I believe communication is key. If something happens, everyone should know what to do. I agree. And what about our belongings? Do you think it's wise to invest in security systems? Definitely. A good security system can give peace of mind. Plus, it helps deter potential threats. Exactly. I've also read that simple things like good lighting can make a difference. Have you heard that too? Yes, well-lit areas often discourage unwanted guests. It's interesting how small changes can enhance safety. Right. And teaching our kids about safety is crucial. What do you think is the best age to start? I'd say around five or six. Kids can learn basic rules and understand the importance of being safe. That sounds reasonable. Plus, it empowers them to take care of themselves, even in small ways. Exactly. It's all about building awareness and responsibility from a young age. Lesson 12, Conversations on Diversity. Morning Anna, have you ever had conversations about LGBTQ plus topics? Hey John, yes, I think it's important to discuss these issues openly. Absolutely. One of the imams I met in December 1990 was on TV soon afterward. That's interesting. How did that conversation go? It was enlightening. He shared perspectives on inclusivity and acceptance. That's great. I believe understanding different viewpoints helps bridge gaps. For sure. These discussions can challenge stereotypes and foster empathy. I completely agree. It's vital for communities to feel safe and valued. Exactly. Conversations can inspire change and build understanding over time. Lesson 13, Reflecting on Legacy Hey Anna, have you thought about the concept of legacy? Hello John, yes. It's fascinating to consider what we leave behind. I believe it can be seen as a sin we committed against ourselves if we accept it as such. That's a thought-provoking idea. How do you interpret that? I think if we don't acknowledge our actions, we miss lessons for future generations. Exactly. Accepting our mistakes can lead to growth and improvement. Right. It's crucial to learn from the past to build a better future. Yes. How we reflect on our legacy can influence our decisions today. Absolutely. It's a powerful motivator to make meaningful changes in our lives. Lesson 14 Preparing for Interviews. Morning Anna, did you think about questions to ask the interviewer? Hey John, yes. 
I've been brainstorming a few to show my interest. That's great. Asking thoughtful questions can really make an impression. Exactly. I want to know about their company culture and growth opportunities. Those are important topics. It shows you care about your future there. Yes. I also think it's good to ask about daily responsibilities. For sure. Understanding expectations helps clarify what the job entails. Exactly. It can also help me decide if it's the right fit for me. Absolutely. Interviews are a two-way street, they're as much for you as them. Lesson 15, Traveling Through History Hey Anna, what do you think about visiting countries with rich histories? Hello John, I find it fascinating. Each place has its own stories and lessons. Exactly. The lessons of the 20th century have shaped our world today. Yes. Understanding that history can provide valuable insights into current events. Right. It's like walking through a living museum when you visit historical sites. I love that analogy. Do you have a favorite country you'd like to visit for its history? I've always wanted to visit Greece. The ancient ruins are incredible. Greece is amazing. I'd love to see the Parthenon and learn about ancient mythology. Absolutely. Traveling can deepen our appreciation for different cultures and their legacies. Lesson 16, Saving Wisely. Hey Anna, definitely we should try to save some money for our upcoming plans. Hello John, I completely agree. It's always smart to have a budget in mind. Right? I'm sure we'll find everything we need without overspending. Absolutely. Have you looked into any local deals or discounts? I have. There are some great sales happening this weekend. It could be a good time to shop. That sounds promising. I love when stores have clearance events. Me too. It feels rewarding to find quality items at a lower price. Yes. Plus, it allows us to explore new stores we might not usually visit. Exactly. Shopping can be an adventure when we're on the lookout for bargains. Lesson 17, Language Learning Steps Morning Anna, I heard you plan to enroll in a language course soon. Hey John, yes. That's a great step towards improving my skills. Absolutely. Learning a new language can open so many doors. Exactly. I'm excited to connect with new people and cultures. Do you have a specific language in mind? I want to learn Spanish. It's so widely spoken and useful. Great choice. Spanish can be incredibly fun and expressive to learn. I agree. Plus, it'll help me when traveling to Spanish-speaking countries. 
For sure. Traveling becomes even more enriching with language skills. Lesson 18, History and Transformation. Hey Anna, have you ever thought about the challenges ex-convicts face? Hello John, yes. It's interesting to see how many become respectable settlers. Absolutely. Many of them begin new lives and contribute positively to society. It's inspiring. It shows that change is possible with determination. Right? Though, the almost complete lack of help from the government can be discouraging. That's true. Support systems are crucial for successful reintegration. Exactly. Communities can play a vital role in helping them find jobs and stability. Yes. It's important to create an environment that fosters growth and acceptance. Absolutely. Everyone deserves a second chance to thrive. Lesson 19, Discovering Remote Islands Morning Anna, did you know about that tiny island far from New Guinea? Hey John, yes. It's fascinating how isolated it is, over 4,000 kilometers away. Right? It's amazing to think about how unique its culture must be. Definitely. Such isolation can lead to distinct traditions and lifestyles. Have you ever thought about visiting remote places like that? I have. I find the idea of exploring untouched nature and meeting locals exciting. Same here. It's like stepping into a different world. Exactly. Plus, it's a chance to disconnect from our fast-paced lives. Absolutely. Such experiences can be life-changing and memorable. Lesson 20, Reflecting on History Hey Anna, what do you think about the topic of slavery in history? Hello John, slavery is one of those offenses that deeply impacted society. Absolutely. It's a dark part of our past that must be acknowledged. Yes, and understanding it helps us learn about equality and justice today. Right. Reflection on such issues is crucial for growth and healing. I agree. It's important to educate others about the consequences of such actions. Exactly. Awareness can lead to positive changes and prevent history from repeating itself. Yes. Conversations about these topics are essential for a better future. Absolutely. It's a shared responsibility to keep the dialogue going. Lesson 21, Navigating Transport Hey Anna, are there any specific bus timings you need to know about? Hello John, please. I'd love to find out the schedule for the weekend. Of course. I believe the buses run every half hour during the day. That's convenient. Do you think that's enough time for travelers? I think so, especially for popular routes. It allows for flexibility. 
true. Have you ever used public transport to explore new places? Yes, I find it a great way to experience a city like a local. Absolutely. Plus, it can be more economical than taxis. Right. And it's an opportunity to meet interesting people along the way. Lesson 22, Hiking Adventures. Morning, Anna. Do you enjoy hiking sometime? Hey, John. Yes. There's something refreshing about being in nature. Absolutely. The views can be breathtaking. Do you cook too after a hike? I do. It feels rewarding to prepare a meal after a long trek. That sounds satisfying. What's your favorite dish to make? I love making hearty soups. They're perfect after a chilly hike. Yum! I enjoy grilling vegetables and meats for a smoky flavor. That's a great idea. It adds a nice touch to outdoor cooking. Definitely. Cooking outdoors can be a fun part of the adventure. Lesson 23, Shopping Preferences. Hey Anna, have you considered opting for the convenience of online shopping? Hello John, true, it's so easy to browse from home. Exactly. But do you think brick and mortar stores still have their charm? Yes. There's something special about physically browsing and trying on items. I agree. Plus, you get instant gratification when you buy something. Yes. And it's nice to support local businesses too. Absolutely. It helps the community thrive. What do you prefer? I think I enjoy a mix of both, depending on my needs. That makes sense. Balance is key in today's shopping world. Lesson 24, Finding Calm. Morning Anna, do you ever relax by listening to some calming music? Hey John, yes. That sounds like a good way to recharge. Absolutely. It can create such a peaceful atmosphere. I agree. What's your go-to genre for relaxation? I love acoustic music. It's so soothing and gentle. That's nice. I prefer nature sounds sometimes, like rain or ocean waves. Those are great choices. They really help in reducing stress. Yes. I often use music for meditation, too. That's a wonderful practice. It enhances the experience of mindfulness. Lesson 25, Beachside Getaways. Hey Anna, I've heard the ocean view in is nice. Hello John, I've heard that too. It's right by the beach, right? Yes. That location must be fantastic for beach lovers. Absolutely. Waking up to ocean sounds would be amazing. For sure. 
it's a perfect spot for relaxation and fun activities. What kind of activities would you want to do there? I'd love to try kayaking or just lounging on the sand. Both sound great. I'd probably enjoy beach yoga at sunrise. That sounds refreshing. A perfect way to start the day by the sea. Lesson 26, Affordable Escapes. Hey Anna, I was looking into beach resorts. Is it expensive to stay in Greece? Hello John, no, it's reasonably priced with many options available. That's great to hear. What types of accommodations can you find? You can choose from luxury hotels to cozy goose houses. Sounds like a good variety. Are meals included at many places? Often, some resorts offer all-inclusive packages, which are convenient. That's helpful. It makes budgeting easier for travelers. Exactly. Plus, you can enjoy local cuisine without worrying about costs. Perfect. Eating local food is always a highlight of traveling. Lesson 27, Navigating Transportation Hey Anna, what do you think about restrictions on public transportation in foreign countries? Hello John, it can vary widely depending on the country, right? Exactly. Some places have extensive systems, while others are limited. True, having a good understanding of local transport is essential for travelers. Yes. It can save time and money, especially in big cities. Do you have any tips for using public transport abroad? I always recommend getting a transportation app to keep track of schedules and routes. That's smart. It makes navigating much easier. Definitely. Being prepared can enhance the travel experience significantly. Lesson 28, Lessons in Resilience Hey Anna, I've been thinking about how challenges teach us resilience. Hello John, that's so true. They give us room for improvement. Exactly. Every setback can be a stepping stone to growth. Yes. It's important to view obstacles as opportunities. Have you experienced a challenge that taught you resilience? I have. Learning a new skill was tough, but it built my confidence. That's inspiring. It's amazing how we can learn from our struggles. Absolutely. Sharing these experiences can encourage others too. Definitely. We should always remind ourselves that we can overcome challenges.